This short video will show you the main features of the IDTA Masterclass Utility. Masterclass isn't an app, and there's nothing to download or install. Just go to this web address, and log in with your username and password. If you don't have a username and password, click on the register link. Choose a username and password, enter your email address, and the access code, which you can get from head office. When you log in, you will see your home page, which contains all your school's information. If you upload your school's logo, it will appear on all printed letters. There are buttons at the top of the screen, which will take you to different pages. For example, if you click on the teachers button, you will see a list of all the teachers in the school. If you click on a teacher's name, you will see all their contact information. Clicking on the members button will take you to the members page, which shows all your current pupils. If you click on a member, you will see all their contact information. You can view the members in ascending, or descending order, of first, or last names. You can also view all former members, who no longer come to the school. It's possible to easily export all your members to a spreadsheet, if you want. Next, we'll click the Classes button which shows all the school's classes, and which members are in them. Clicking on a class, displays all the details of that class, including its day, time and price, as well as the pupils in it. You can easily create a class register for any class, by clicking the Register button. Enter the date of the first class, and the register will be created. You can easily customize the class registers to include a wide variety of information, as we'll see later. Now let's click the medals button to enter some pupils for an examination session. If you click on a member's name, you can see which medals, if any, they are entered for. To enter a member for a medal, click the add button. Then select one or more medals. Click Done, when finished. Now let's click the Next Exam button, which shows all the candidates, and which medals they are taking. We need to set an exam date for the new candidate we just added. We also need to set a time for that candidate. Now that all the candidates have a date and time, we can print the IDTA timetable with one mouse click. We can also print a timetable for the school's notice board, so that pupils can check their times. Now let's print some exam report forms. Masterclass reminds us to load the correct A5 form in the printer.
the report forms are printed with all the required information in the correct boxes. No more handwritten report forms. We can now print a letter to each candidate, telling them which medals they are taking, and the total cost. We can also print an examination payment record, so that we can keep track of payments as we receive them. Let's see how easy it is, to customize the exam letters. We will change the date, and add a tear-off slip at the bottom of the letter. The letters now include our changes. Masterclass keeps a record of every exam session, so you can go back to any previous session to look at it. You can display it arranged by forename, surname, or medal. Very often, schools hold a presentation event for successful candidates. We can very easily create invitation letters for these events. Let's create some class invoices. Click the Notify button. Select a class that you wish to invoice. Select all the pupils in that class. Click the Invoice button, and all the letters are created. If a pupil attends more than one class, the letter includes all their classes. We can create a payment record for the class fees, just as we did for examination payments. Finally, let's take a look at some of the administration tools. This is where you set your profit margin for medals and class discounts. You can set your profit to be a percentage of the medal's cost, or a fixed amount, or both. The effect of any changes that you make, are shown in the example at the bottom of the screen. You can even round up the price to make it easier to give change. This area is where you can set class discounts, if you want to offer that incentive. This page shows all the options that you can choose from, when creating class registers. This is the examination letter customization page, which we have already seen and the presentation letter and class invoice pages are very similar. Finally, this is where you can choose to email letters, or print them. If you choose to email them, you can test the email system, by sending an email to yourself. You can ask for technical help from any page, and you will receive a personal response very quickly. There are also answers to many common questions, which may help you solve your problem. Lastly, this page lets you know when new features are added. 
We hope you have found this short video useful, and if you have any questions please get in touch.